In 2022, a bacterium killed 31 million people. We called it the sickness. Within months, a treatment was released, but it came at a high price and made the company the largest corporation in the world. One group fought back. Their mission, to find out if the company created the sickness, so the world would know the truth. But the company is closing in. treatment now. Did you place the device? Yes, it's operational. Did anyone else get hurt? No, we're fine. Okay, well, at least there's some good news. Good job, you guys. Keep me posted on Sean's condition. Don't go too far, okay? And stay where I can see you. Are you drinking enough? I'm way too young to be drinking, Dad. Your parents agree to that? Maybe. Yeah, I thought as much. Here, help me out. Tell me, what do you see? Some buildings. Well, you're not wrong, but what can you tell me about the buildings? That one is very high. Mm-hmm. It has 14 open windows, 10 of which with a direct line of sight to our back entrance. Wow. Yeah, you have to really pay attention to detail. Yeah, for no lookout duty was just lame. Well, sometimes you've got to do boring work. Why? Because... Because giving up covers you nothing. Track us down. 
Take your man. Get everybody to the basement. Use the tunnels. I'll get Marty back to Marty and Maria. They were heading to the server room when the last saw them. one thing I gotta do. Stay close, please.
container. Molly, run! Run! When was the last time you had your treatment? About a month ago. I'm saving it all up for my little boy. How is he? Good for now, but home alone. We'll help you out. I will get you some more. you here for a couple of days. But since you got a kid at home, she probably sent you back as soon as you're strong enough. You can come back whenever, but um, we can't give you any treatment to take with you. Last time we did that, we caught a guy selling it on the street. There's someone to see you. Hey, Dave. What are you doing here? Dave, this is Alex. Hey. What the fuck are you doing here? You wanted terrorists. Those are lies. He knows. So this is the David you've been talking about. He's obviously not interested. She gets it. David, sit the hell down and listen to what I have to say. We've got nothing to talk about. I'm not gonna help you steal any more treatment. It's just gonna drive up the prices even more. They're already up. You're not helping anyone. What was it on the news this time? What did you do? What was it blow up some depot? Oh, we no. are not. We're not stealing any treatment. We're gonna steal the cure. <laughs> Still having these headaches? All right, listen to me. We've been tracking an armored van that moves from company facility to company facility, guarded by a team of highly experienced soldiers, former black ops or something similar. None of the transmissions or reports have shown any proof that this transport even exists. And yet, there it is. The company's hiding something they don't want people to find out about. 
It's the cure. Why drive it around? Why move it around? Why not use it or destroy it and get rid of the evidence? They can't destroy it. Viruses are very dangerous. If it mutates again, if a CEO gets infected. Exactly. There's a bunch of reasons why the company would want to hold on to their cure just in case. It sounds like their way of thinking to me. No, it's fine. You're not bringing her back by hiding in here. Out. Our pleasure. I think you're making the right choice. I hope so. Listen. If it's true what they say, if the sickness has a cure, bring it to me. some spare treatment. Who the hell's got spare treatment? Ah, I'm afraid uh, not even him. Time for hoping, right? Hope? Hope is what's got me into this mess. But hope is what's keeping us alive. Without the treatment, we'd all be gone. And uh, the billboards uh, shine on no one. The company saved us. The treatment saved us. Look at yourself. How can you? I really hope you're right. Listen, go that away, five blocks down. Ask for Emma. Tell her David sent you. An old man. Don't spread the word too much. Are you with the company? <laughs> Not quite. Well, thanks anyway. Who is it? I'm part of the Rebel Alliance and a traitor. What? Just open the door. Well, here I am.
Wow. Really love the vibe. Whose mother's basement is this? Yours, right? David. That's Barry. This is a bird. You're all that's left. We're the last. But not least. Up top. We always thought the company was responsible for the sickness. But they cooked this up in the lab. Or allowed its creation by conscious neglect. But it could go much further than that. We now believe we discovered clues to where it's a cure. There's only one way to find out, though. Whatever it is they're transporting, it's very secret and very important. That, that's too very. OK, so you want to grab the, the van as it moves to the next place? The van is heavily guarded, often even with air support. Topper bolts. So that's no good. Our best bet is to grab it when the cargo, which is hopefully the cure, when it's locked in a vault. One of the company facilities is heading towards next. The company facility they're stopping next has been built exactly eight years ago, around the time Maria was still leading the factions. But he was able to hack into the computer network at the time, which got them and many others discovered and killed, but which also gave them a shitload of intel. Like the locations of company facilities, he listed what patches of land the company was buying and uh, what they were building there. Barry discovered one of Maria and Buddy's plans. One that never got to be executed. This is actually pretty cool. They placed a quake bomb in the earth below one of the building sites. Like a device that can simulate seismic activity. This Sleeping Beauty is laying below the company's research center for over eight years now. But it should still be active. Shoot. Sure. It better should. Okay, listen up. When we get there, Alex, David, and I get in. Burke, you guard Barrow in the van. What? And you're taking this to Sweater? You're telling me this now? Yes, I'm telling you this now because we're already on our way. It's too late for you to complain too much about it. Come on, I should beat it. You've got like one leg. This makes absolutely no sense. We're still talking. Just a heads up. Burke's uh, sense of humor got hit by a piece of shrapnel during the war. At least that's my theory. Nothing's happening in your bedroom. What's happening? You should immediately evacuate the building. To let people out, the evacuation warning should open all the locks in the building. Okay, let's go to work. I'm sorry, but there are protocols we have to follow. 
as well as our lives, might be in danger. <laughs> this is not a laughing matter. All of this is going in my report? Yeah. And if the building collapses and we all die, be sure to put it on my permanent record. I can't believe he would do this to me. I have a right to be there. After all, I... The company, Social Services Sector 7. This is Elizabeth. How may I help you? Uh, thank God I got a hold of you. I just tried calling Samantha on the other, um... Anyway, she wasn't there, and now we've got this whole mess on our hands, and if we don't fix this soon, we will have a major security breach. And personnel files, everything. Who's this? Leonard from IT. Any hoozle, we have to relink all the routers on the Cat5e or the firewall will block the server hosting and that'll crash all the 12 parsecs of the ASCII warp phasing and then we will have to reboot the entire Ethernet holodeck. And you know we don't want that. Or you could just give me the little code that's on the bottom of your modem and I can just reset the whole thing from here and I don't have to send a whole team down from R&D to debug the server racks. Hey, uh... Uh, it's the little black box should be below your desk with the flickering lights. X2, capital T, five, four, seven, eight, one, one, three, eight. Thanks, Lizzie. You're a treasure. All right. This password should... I'm in. Richard, you there? Yes, I hear you. Great. There should be a large door to your right at the end of the hall. Go through it. In the back, there should be a freight elevator. Go all the way down, the bottom level. But be careful, I'm not the only one who's watching. What if she hadn't given you the code? Lizzie wouldn't lay me down. Listen, it's my job to inspect the work you and your team are doing. I have to file an accurate report. I do my job. I do what I'm supposed to do. You should too. The earthquake wasn't that bad, but we should take precautions, follow regulations, and evacuate the building. There, see? This is why I'm here and you're there. Send Declan after it. We've got hostiles moving down the eastern corridor. Declan, Davis, intercept. The evacuation warning opens the doors. They must have faked the quake to get in. Impossible. This is a company facility. Even if they could do such a thing, we'd have contingency systems in place. Yes. Me. Give it up, man. I think they're in our system. In Say the impossible one more time! No, 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 what? No. They're onto us? Dick, they're coming your way. Shit! How long we got?
What are they doing here? You okay, man? The vault you're looking for is at the very end of the hall. Door marked M1. Hurry. Barry? Barry! There. I cut off the signal. They seem to know the way. The, the way to where? Our cargo. This is just a way station. What cargo? Are you smuggling? Yes. We've been smuggling. We've secretly been smuggling. And we're talking about it openly with an inspector right here. Then what is in that vault? Exactly. Tell them to shoot on sight. Permission to shoot on sight. Declan. Davis. We think they might know about M1. Kill mode. This is against all regulations. I order you. You don't get to order anyone here. The hell I do. Those people have to be captured and tried. Question at least. The law says. The law doesn't apply to what they're after. What the hell does that mean? And what? Pray tell is in Vault M1. This is it.
Molly. What have they done to you? Find it? Who's this? This is Molly. Molly? Who's Molly? She was in a cell. The fault. The fault is a cell. And she was in it? Yes. Listen, I think I I think they experimented on her. For eight years. Eight years. She was probably quarantined. Infected. We can't take her. It's a huge risk. Alex. You know I'm right. <laughs> We're risking everything we've ever worked for. We must have made a mistake. There has to be another fault. There has to be another fault. There is no fault. We can't take her. He's coming with us, and so are you. in a vault. Because she is dangerous. She could be infected. Exactly. You put us all at risk. We are on a dangerous secret mission. We are at risk. But if she's infected, why would they move her around? She was locked up, not quarantined. So she hasn't got the sick, I don't think. You're Richard, aren't you? 
I remember you now. My mother trusted you. I remember her saying so. She trusted you too. You were important. My parents are dead, aren't they? I kind of always knew I couldn't feel them anymore. But I knew, I knew you were still alive somehow. The headaches. You fear me. And you should. Maybe. But I won't infect you. I can't get the sickness. I'm immune. You're secure. They gave it to you? It worked. They have it. Am I right? Molly? They're here.
must really want you back. Yeah, dead is more like it. They could have easily hit you. Why? Why guard you all these years and then just open fire? They were firing at you. What do you mean? There's a crossroads. We have to decide where to go. They're probably tracking us, so... The old treatment factories are over there. We can hide there. You sure you want to hide? They're about to find us eventually. At least they won't find us near innocent bystanders. Let's go!
I'll be right back. You'd rather stay with you. Yeah, I'd rather stay with me too. You want your jacket? <laughs> that old thing. Right back. Indians, Indians. I'm sorry, I took me so long to find you. as big as that before. How did you just do that? I had a weird reaction to the virus. Something. They never really told me anything. Am I... Am I safe near you? I guess. No promises.
This is all going in my report. I've been here. They took me here.
are just like this, huh? Oh, fuck! Oh, what the fuck are you worrying about? What? You... you're gonna...
going through it today with defensive mode. Come on! What kind of Swiss knife shit is this? Shoot me if I let her go. So, no. It's a shame to see this one die, though. She's a hell of a warrior. Stop talking! Why don't you just leave? That's what you wanted, isn't it? Freedom. All you have to do is leave your little terrorist pals here to die. We're not terrorists. It's kind of what all terrorists... Stop talking!
so sorry. Oh, this really hurts. So sorry to do all of this for me. Nah, that's okay. If you could just grab every medical thing from the van, that'd be great, okay? Go.
Someone? Hello? Don't kill me. Who are you? I'm something else. Is anyone at the site? Wait. Listen to me. This girl. She was held captive by those guys ever since she was eight. She's immune. That's the secret. That's why they kept her locked away. She's a threat to the treatment. You have to let her go. I've worked for the company for years. I've never heard of no immunity. What if you're lying? Then you'll hunt her down again. But what if we're not lying? Hello? Please. Go. Just go. Go now! They are not here. They must have headed back to the city. Guess we're too late. Okay, understood. You're really extraordinary. I haven't seen this kind of symptoms anywhere else. I actually think it could be isolated into a cure. And it's death blow to the company. What are you thinking about? That building has 12 open windows. Eight is a direct line of sight to the back entrance. What? Look how duty is boring. 